If you are watching this video, you are either of the utmost importance, or you will be executed shortly after viewing. The following footage is of the forgotten president, William McKinley. The United States government covered up the true nature of William McKinley, and how absolutely, dreadfully boring he was. What you are about to see is a compilation of news reports, campaign ads, and raw office footage of William McKinley. I'm standing out here in the scenic Washington, D.C. in the U.S. of A. giving you news coverage on the current presidential election. And right now, it's looking like Republican candidate William McKinley is ahead. My fellow Americans, fear not, for I, William McKinley, will keep everything the exact same. And with the help of my Vice President, Garrett Hobart, we will assure that nothing ever changes in America. I don't get it. I really don't. They think I'm boring. Unless... I know something that will change their mind. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Do you hate change in America? Well, I'm glad you think so. Lucky for you, with presidential candidate William McKinley, you can keep things as good as they are right now. Why take the chance of changing things up? Things are perfect as they are. Live and let live, President McKinley. Do America a favor and keep it our America. Vote McKinley. I am William McKinley, and I approve this message. Hobart, do you think I'm boring? Now, Mr. President, why should that matter? I knew it! I guess I'll have to collect that relic after all. Mr. President, what exactly is this relic you're describing collecting? Well, I'm talking about the chaos I ruled. Just one is enough to stop myself from being the most boring president in history. With all due respect, Mr. President, I don't think what you're describing is a real thing. Well, you don't believe me? Then hear me now, Hobart. I will not have my reputation soiled and the people think I'm boring. They only elected me, so I'll do nothing. Then simply do nothing, sir. No! I want my name to be remembered as the most epic president in history. And that's a fact! People will remember the name William McKinley. This just in! The Cubans have declared war for independence, and President McKinley plans to support them, as we all expected. 1898! This just in! The USS Maine was struck down, killing 266 American soldiers! The culprit, the Spanish! Citizens predict that McKinley will be the most likely outcome. War has been waged on the Spanish, and Mc President McKinley passes the Keller Amendment to the promise that we will not annex Cuba. We are simply helping them gain independence. Ugh. America has won the Battle of Manila Bay against the Spanish, and President McKinley increasing the number of troops who are sending to the Philippines, bringing shock to nobody. 1899. President McKinley sends troops off to Cuba to fight the Spanish. McKinley stands up for African Americans, sending troops to protect Wilmington citizens from white supremacists. It didn't work. America has won the Battle of San Juan Hill. Yet another satisfactory achievement of President McKinley. And while trying to flee from Santiago to Cuba, the Spanish have been thwarted again by the American Navy. Thanks, Navy! The Treaty of Paris has been signed. This marks the end of a new war, declaring the United States and Cuba as the victors. The United States now has full control of Cuba, Puerto Rico, Guam, the Philippines. Thank God for Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. Oh, I'm kidding. 1900! McKinley discusses the possible open-door policy for trade with China. This could expand our horizon for American economics. The only open-door we Americans want is the White House. Uh, I'm gonna say it the McKinley passed the Gold Standard Act, bringing a new age of American economics, all centered around gold. The new election is coming up. The people are torn between the choice of current President William McKinley, or right now Theodore Roosevelt. It's a tight race for sure, but only time will tell who will win! And around the nation, many yawn and scratch their heads at the re-election of President McKinley. I'm sure he will continue his plans to keep America the same prosperous self has always been, and not changing things up.
Mr. President, I understand wanting to preserve your legacy, but this is madness. Is it, Hobart? Yes. I understand you've come to terms of being forgotten, but no one cares about vice presidents. I'm a president. What am I to do? Mr. President. No! I will not be forgotten. I won't just have some U.S. history student despise me for nothing I've done interesting. Then why don't you just do something interesting? That's precisely what I'll do. And it'll start at the Pan American Exposition. Oh, Christ. What are you going to do? Well, I'm glad you asked. It all relates to this. That's a Chaos Emerald. Indeed. Surprise? Yes, that's not a real thing. It's from Sonic. It's as real as my accomplishments. Yeah, not real. It... Enough. Look, I have to get to this conference. Be sure to watch this on TV, Mr. Vice President. Good day. My fellow Americans, I thank you all for allowing me these years of service. While some may say that I'm a foreign president, I thank you all for staying with me. And with that, it pleases me to announce I will be changing the country. Well, Mr. President, we all elected you because you weren't going to change anything. I understand that. But if you really look at all of my achievements, you'll see that I have changed the country. I've changed it for the better. Now, I may not have a cool mustache or many accomplishments to my name, but I did what no president could, keeping things from getting any worse. And in reality, doesn't that make me the best president in American history? Who is this dude? <laughs> Worry not, my citizens, for I have something perfect to help our country soar. Ah, Mr. President, that was a lovely speech today. Can I assist you with anything, sir? Uh, no, I'm good, but thank you. Oh, uh, well. Uh, at the least, can I shake your hand? Uh, yeah, you may. Die, capitalist scum! Chaos control! <laughs> uh, Nani? Your attempts at assassination are poor. It'll take a lot more than that to kill me. Ah. Uh. So now you know the truth. The story of history's most boring president. For decades the US government has tried to deny his existence. But alas, someone so unremarkable will always be remembered for how unremarkable they were. <laughs>